friends. So this video is going to be different than my vlogging videos. What I'm wanting to do is bring you guys along with me while I figure out and learn how to sew a teddy bear. So I've already attempted one uh, pattern, if you will, or one go at sewing a teddy bear. And I think I've, I think I've videoed it. Yeah, it was on one of my earlier vlogs already. Um, but it is this little guy and clearly looking at him, he is far more potato than teddy bear, but that's okay because he was my first attempt and I am learning and growing. I finished this little spud and thought to myself, Julie, you just finished a very, very easy pattern and it came out looking kind of sort of like what you want it to look like. Why don't you get now a super difficult pattern that says directly on the instructions, not for beginners, and tackle that? And that's exactly what I did. Here, where this teddy bear required this, I had to cut, I used this template. I cut two of these and two of these, and I sewed them together and got this. The template I'm working on now is all, not that, all of this in all different shapes and sizes and numbers and it, it, there's just a lot going on here. And I used, I cut up an old sheet that we had that um, didn't fit the bed that we have now. Um, and I've gone and I've labeled what all the sections were, but I have just a ridiculous amount of like paper guides as well with letters and all of these. And there's certain areas that I have to allow for uh, certain seam allowances. And I have to make sure that I cut the right number of these. And like I'm only allowed to cut one of these, but I have to get two of these. And and it's it's a lot more complicated, but I have started it, started it already and what I have gotten so far is essentially the head. Now, mind you, I have not finished it by any stretch. This is just so far very, very roughly what I'm working on. And so this is what I have so far. Like, these are the two ears right here, this guy and this guy. And once it's sewn into a circle, they'll like go up like that. But this is the nose, like the mouth. This is the little forehead like that goes right here on the teddy bear. And like the eyes would go here and here and then obviously the cheeks and back of the head and all of that so that's what I have so far and it took so long just to figure out how to sew it properly to get that little guy to do this so that's where I'm at right now and I have not touched this project in probably close to a month so I'm just gonna bring you along while I experiment and try to figure this out and we are going to learn together whether I'm cut out to sew teddy bears or not. And the pattern that I'm following for this, this big bear, I will link in the description below. So if you're curious as to how to make this or you want to one-up me and be like, Julie, I can make a great teddy bear and yours looks like a rotten potato, by all means, make this teddy bear and share your pictures with me but I will make sure to link the blog and all of that down below for you guys so you can see that. Instructions. This is an intermediate to advanced pattern. I'm basically there. They do recommend to use two different colored patterns so you can have like accent thing, accent colors. So like the front of the ears would be a different color and the nose would be a different color and the forehead and the, and the feet and the hand, like the pads. That way there's like the accent color to, differ to differentiate the parts. And because I'm just experimenting with this for the first time, I didn't bother doing that. So my bear is going to probably look a little wonky, but I'm okay with it because I'm not planning on selling this on Etsy. Uh, so belly center seam. So I need to find the belly in all of this. Here's belly. Okay. What am I sewing together? So belly center seam. What? Oh, this is only half of the belly. Gotcha. There's belly number two. All right, so those are what I need first. Cool. So I'm sewing those. Like that. Yeah, it looks like this. I'm sewing like that. Okay. 
So that's what I'm doing first because then when it lays down, it will lay like that. Oh, that's going to be cool. I love learning new things. I'm going to do that. Scooch that out of the way. Turn this guy on. Move my potato over there. So I'm just sewing there to there. That's all I'm sewing. Yes. 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 That's what I'm going to sew and hope I'm correct. Shoot! And this is where the noob comes out. I was sewing these with the wrong side facing each other. Where are my scissors? Come here, scissors. Where is my seam ripper? Come here, seam ripper. Got too excited thinking I had this in the bag and messed it all up. And we have our belly. And it kind of sort of looks just like the picture. All right, I think I did something okay. All right, what's the next step? I've got this now. I've got this now. What? Isn't there supposed to be like an arm back or something too? But I feel like that's a thing. I feel like I'm missing a step somewhere here. That, why, why is the ear there? We're not to the head, we're still on the feet. What, what is going on? I'm gonna need some more diagrams here. Oh, 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 oh. Making sure the outside edge of the leg is on the outside. So L and S, yes, it's supposed to be those two attaching to these two. And you have to turn towards the outside. Yeah, that's why they said to be careful. So this one gets sewn to this guy, like that. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm gonna do. Here's hoping my bear can walk. Push that out. That's my bear so far. The, the kind of, the, the belly. This is his belly and these are the legs. Now just attach the arms. Look at that! This is gonna be the chunkiest teddy bear on the face of the earth. My goodness. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Another thing I learned that I didn't know when I made this first uh, potato is that great little tip to do is once you sew these seams to actually then trim all of them shorter. You don't want to trim them so short that it could actually cause the um, stitching to come undone, but trimming them smaller, so it's only about an eighth of an inch rather than a fourth of an inch of seam will help it not, it will help the final product not be so cumbersome, especially if you're making a smaller teddy bear. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna trim, trim, trim. Especially on the little parts, like the parts like the face or the belly and all of that, it's not as important because um, obviously there's much, it's a much larger portion, but like the ears, I didn't do the ears on that, which I'm kind of annoyed about. Um, but like the tail then as well, cause then when you go to flip this right side out, it'll look better because there's not as much seam sort of 
uh, pushing in on it. Because then when you open it up, that's the back of the teddy bear with the little tail. Cool, I think I did that right. That, that looks like a tail. You can definitely see the word tail that I wrote on the inside of there, but that's okay. What is this? An experiment! I was supposed to leave an opening for the tail, for the back, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. Because I'm adding the head on. Yeah? Just, okay, see, I did that right. Cool. Alright, so we have the bottom legs now. Like that. Little pants. I'm really sorry if this is super boring for you. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to, I don't know, video. You tell me if I'm wrong though. Arm back to back, matching letters on the yes. So your front piece to your back piece. Oh, buddy. Okay. Now for the big kahuna. Yikes, okay. So I'm sewing all of that, those, and all of that. That's a lot to ask of me. This is so not the same size. Oh, maybe it is? No, that's, this is definitely way smaller than that. That does not align at all. Oh, buddy. Okay. Well, I'm just getting to experiment all over the place. So, here we go. No idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing or not. I'm gonna find out real soon. Do the next section shall we uh where am i even at this does not look like it should be anything I'm making a dress for a doll legs which do not oy <laughs> uh, that does not <laughs> match up at all it's back is like three times larger than it's supposed to be i feel like <laughs> So they have it pinned a lot, which is a good idea. Oh, it's a foot! It's an actual little foot! Do you ever get a really annoying song stuck in your head that you just can't get out? For me, it's the guacamole song. If you haven't seen it, you need to go on YouTube and find guacamole song and it's just this old woman singing about making guacamole and she goes avocado peel the avocado to make guacamole guac guacamole guac amole guac guacamole and it's quite ridiculous and it's in my head and I think it's because I had some guacamole at lunch at work today. So, if I've done anything right, I have hopefully now gotten it stuck in your head. You're welcome. <laughs> This is the moment of truth. If I turn this right side out, will this actually look like a teddy bear? I mean, 
it looks like something. That is most definitely a fact. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a teddy bear body. I mean, it's made out of a polka dot sheet, but that is a teddy bear body. Oh my goodness. That's its little ankle and feet. And its little butt tail and its arms and its head's gonna go right there. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh shoot, I have to make sure that the ears are pinned properly. Oh, buddy. Doesn't show me any pictures for that. How am I supposed to know what I'm doing? I need pictures for this kind of thing. Okay, well, time to guess a lot. No, it's being laid down like that. Okay, yes, that's going in, so I sew that, but not that. Cool, okay. Now that I have that, yes, that looks already a lot more like the picture. Cool, cool, cool. So now I have back of the head again that goes like this. And the front of the head that is going like that. Make sure that those lines line up. Most importantly, they said I need to make sure that this back seam lines up with the middle of this. So I might just start there to make sure that that in fact stays where it's supposed to. supposed to sew the neck. I sewed the freaking neck shut. <sighs> okay. Now that I've fixed that error. Let's flip this inside out, see if I did these ears right. Oh, those are cute. I just realized my um, sheet has a stain on it. Oh well, it'll be hidden by bear face. Look at that. Here's a little teddy bear head. A really big teddy bear head, but it's okay because it's got a massive body to go with it. Oh, that's really cute. Cool, cool, cool. Now I'm not going to do anything else yet because I need to go and buy like little eyes and some felt to make the nose. But that is where I'm going to stop it for today and I will catch you guys when I go to the store to get these things. So I worked more on the bear today. Oh? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I have, hold on. So this is the whole head. Oh my goodness, it's a Dora world. <laughs> oh, I love it. So basically, I oh, that's the really cute. On the head now, where I need to go buy those little eyes and some felt. Yeah. Right there. And then I'll be ready. Oh to my goodness. Totally done. Oh dear. But I'm really happy with how it came out with the ears. Yes. Like that. Oh, yes, yes. And then... Yeah, cute meter's going crazy here. I did the entire body. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be too much. Too much. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Well, Give a little tail. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, it, like, it sits perfect. down. So then oh. you'll, like, put the head on, and then you'll stuff it, and it has its little feet. Oh, goodness. Stop it. <laughs> too cute. Yes, yes, it's far and away an improvement from that uh, 
sweet potato. The Spud. Spud, yes. <laughs> I've decided. I just. I've decided. I'm naming him Spud. He looks like Spud. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Michael's now, and I'm trying to find where the felt and the like animal eyes are. Can you stop it. Dan's just being a goon. Maybe it would be. Um. I don't know. Suppose the edible eyes are the question. Maybe Those we'll also anyway. would not work. You're right. You might just have to end up asking somebody. That's yeah, I don't like having to give in. I feel like I've been defeated if I have to stop and ask somebody. But we couldn't find the actual button eyes, but what we did get were these guys, the just regular little buttons that we'll use. Um, and now we're on the hunt for some felt. And Dan got the poster board that he's wanting for um, different projects that he has planned. Oh, I want this, no? Uh, here. Oh, here we go, cool. So I just want a little bit of black felt. All right, we are back and ready to keep going. Now it is time to toss that bit aside and to actually sew on the nose and eyes of the teddy bear. really cute. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. They're not even, but that's okay. Again, this is just a first go. Would you still have a cross-eyed bear? I think so. There you go. Oh, that's super cute. Alright, so this is what I have so far. I need a really cute bear. <laughs> right, so that's what I want it to look like. I mean, not deflated like that, but. Alright, did that do what I wanted it to do? <laughs> so yeah, the bear. It's a bear. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he had his throat slit right now, but it's okay, because it's a bear! Okay, now to stuff him. <laughs> Got my fiber fill. Oh, look at she, the little girl in there even has a bear. I mean, mine's cuter, obviously. We're gonna do a time lapse of this section, because it's gonna take me forever. Dan, do you want to see the final product? Yes, I do. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Look at it. Come here and look at it. I'm coming. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wow. That is really cute. <laughs> Isn't it? It's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's meant to sit down, so like, like you can't stand it up. It must okay. be like that. Okay, right, right. But... It's really cute, dear. Well done. Thanks. That's really cute. Isn't it? Good work, dear. Thanks. Oh. And there's his little tail. Yeah. His tail. <laughs> oh, that's oh. great. But I'm very excited about this. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's great. I think I did a pretty good job considering All I right. went from this <laughs> to this. Like this is a teddy bear uh, for the teddy bear. Like that's exactly much. what it is. The little teddy bear for the teddy bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you guys have it. My finished product, the my first attempt at a teddy bear at all, 
followed by my second attempt ever of a teddy bear. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this has inspired some form of creative bug in you so that you will go out and do something that you might not have tried before. Um, if you want to see more little sewing things, me attempting things for the very first time, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Um, I certainly had fun and I think I'm going to experiment with a few more of these anyway. But um, if you have any tips or tricks on what I could have done better or different, also let me know. That would be super helpful. That is that, and thanks for coming along with me. Bye!